National Educator. Today we have Agriculture for Grade 6. I will be your host, Wongo Indirango. Our sign language interpreter is Velma Akinyi and our teacher is Mr. Kevin Muhia. Mm -hmm. Karibu sana. Thank you. Please tell us what we are about to learn today. Today? I'm excited. No, today we are going to have a remedy. A remedy? Yes. Okay. Of all that you have been learning. Good. Remember we have been talking about soil? Erosion. And we have talked about the disasters it causes. Yes. Some of the effects. Mm -hmm. But today, mm -hmm. I want us to talk about now how we can we can control that. Okay. So def uh, definitely now, mm -hmm. our lesson is going to be about controlling soil erosion. erosion. Amazing. Yes. All right. How can we control these types of erosion? Remember, mm -hmm. we have the different types of erosion. Yes. You're going to tell me. Okay. Later. But before that. Uh huh. Let's talk about something. Okay. Slope area farming. <gasps> Slopey area farming. farming. Okay. I ain't targeting you. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just trying to help. Okay. You know, okay. in our country, mm. there are places which are up there. Yes. Others are down, down here. There. Others According are flat. to the shape. Yes. Others are flat. Flat. Yes. We have flat lowlands. Yes. Do this. Flat lowlands. Flat lowlands. Yes. Okay. They are low. They are low. We call them plains. Yes. You stand here, you see all over there. Okay. There are others which are high, flat. High but flat. Yes. Okay. So those Not are high. Eh, just high, high flat. flat. Yes. So what do we call those ones? They are called plateaus. Plateaus. Low flat low. land. Mm -hmm. They are called? I've forgotten. Plains. Plains. High flat land. I have forgotten. They are called plateaus. Lovely. Low flat land, plains. High plateaus. Plateaus. But they are flat. Okay. But we have those slanted ones. Mm -hmm. Like for example, where our grandma comes from. Mm -hmm. Where we find, we have to get to know how are we going to plant our crops. Mm -hmm. How are we going to cultivate. Mm -hmm. So today I've come with two remedies okay. of that. Okay. Where we talk about. Mm -hmm. One, mm -hmm. contour farming. Contour farming? Yes. Contour sounds like fashion. No, 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 no. When fashion. you talk about contour, mm. this is where you farm mm. going sideways. Okay, and that is the right kind of farming for yes. sloppy lands. For sloppy lands. And like me. You go sideways. Yes. So if the land is slanted, mm -hmm. if that is the land, mm -hmm. don't dig going down. Mm. Don't dig this way. Okay. Dig going to the side. Okay. That is what you call contour farming. Farming. Then we have another one, which we call terrace. Okay. So we've said this is contour. Mm. Then we have terrace. Mm -hmm. When you talk about terrace, mm -hmm. they usually form things like look like stairs. Mm. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, I think I have mm -hmm. actually. Yeah, I have. You find? Mm. No. This one, we call it terraces. Okay. We call them terraces. Terraces, okay. We have contour and mm -hmm. we have terraces. terraces. Because mm -hmm. you find, mm -hmm. yes, it's a slopey land. Okay. So the person makes a staircase mm -hmm. feature. Mm -hmm. Where on this part here, this is where the person is going to plant mm -hmm. the crops. Okay. Even if the soil is eroded here, mm -hmm. it is going to fall here. Yes. Is it going to proceed to the next pa uh, mm, place? Not really. No. The one eroded from here mm, comes here. There. Okay. So even it reduces the flow mm. of the runoff. Mm. So this terrace, it reduces flow. Run. Run off water. Run off flow. Run off flow that causes real yes. erosion. So you find yes. if the water flows very mm. fast, yeah. it is going to 
carry everything. Yes. But if the water is slow, mm. if it's flowing slowly, mm. you'll find it will have a hard time carrying away those yes. those organic matter, the humors. The actually. humors, yes. So it reduces the runoff flow. flow. Okay. It does not stop it. The it water reduces. is still going. Yes, it reduces the speed okay. at which the water is flowing. flowing. Okay. And this method, you can plant anything. Mm. There are other methods still that you can use mm. in the slope areas. Okay. We have said we have contour farming. Yes. We have said we have terraces. Terraces, yes. We have even crop rotation. What is crop rotation? We have crop. Mm -hmm. Crop is a plant. Yes. Rotation, mm -hmm. this is to change. Okay. To move from one place to, to another. another. Okay. So you can have, mm -hmm. maybe on this portion here, mm -hmm. you planted maize. Mm -hmm. This one you planted beans. Mm -hmm. This one you planted potatoes. Okay. Next time, mm -hmm. these potatoes, mm -hmm. plant them here. Ah. These beans, mm -hmm. plant them up here. Okay. Here, plant maize. Okay. You have rotated. Rotated the, okay. And Got it's it. very healthy, by the way. Mm -hmm. You usually find mm -hmm. there are pests that are found in the soil. Yes. They usually attack that type of crop. Ah. So, for example, you know, every day is a learning day. Yes, it is. So, I plant maize here. Yes. Beans. Uh -huh. Here, maybe I plant my carrots. Let's yes. say nursery. I mm -hmm. planted my carrots. Mm -hmm. And here, I mm -hmm. planted my... Potatoes. Potatoes. Yes. Having that, this is season one. Mm -hmm. In season two, mm -hmm. I have to rotate them. Okay. So that the pests that were here mm -hmm. attacking my maize... Mm -hmm. I plant beans. If I plant beans, mm. let's say for season one, mm -hmm. for season two, mm -hmm. I interchange. Mm -hmm. So here I plant beans, mm -hmm. the maize I put them here, mm -hmm. potatoes, carrots. Mm. Has any crop gone back wherever it was? Uh, no. No. Mm -hmm. So the pests that were there that were attacking those crops, mm. will they attack them? Ah, they'll be confused. They'll be confused. Confuse the enemy. So before they even get to... <laughs> Now, uh, adjust the digestive system to yes. uh, attack the new one, uh -huh. already I have harvested. Amazing. Once they have uh, done that, mm -hmm. season three. Rotate it again. Rotate it again. Aye. So here becomes beans, yes. maize, mm -hmm. potatoes, mm -hmm. carrots. And eventually they go. They get tired. Yeah, they get tired. Good. So that's another method okay. that you can still use. And now this is called crop rotation. This crop rotation. Amazing. Okay. The crop rotation, mm. we have, uh, once you have planted them, mm -hmm. there are crops that usually you find, they have deep roots. Mm -hmm. They can be able to. Mm. And there are also other crops that uh, it's not a must you harvest them mm. with the ones. Mm. There are others that can stay. Mm. For example, we have the coffee bushes and the tea bushes. Mm -hmm. Once you plant it, it's going to stay it's there. It's going to stay there. It's for true. a while. Yes. So it's going to at least hold the soil mm -hmm. back. And inside those coffee terraces, mm -hmm. kati kati mm -hmm. coffee bushes, you can plant your crops as well. You can do beans and whatnot. Exactly. Okay. Okay. And the beans mm -hmm. can also be used somehow like cover crops. Ah. Because, you know, beans, you don't uh, spread them so much. Yes. And sometimes, once they grow, they lie on the ground. Yes. They don't grow so much, so taller than, like, the maize. Yeah. So they can be used as cover crops. Okay. So that is one of the control methods. Amazing. Okay. okay. Got it. So we have some diagrams. Mm -hmm. We can see that's a terrace. terrace. Farming. You can see the person has planted mm -hmm. some vegetables. Mm -hmm. So those are some, like some spinach, some skumawiki. Mm -hmm. Then we have others. And that is beautiful. Exactly. Yeah. Now this is how grandma's farm should look should like. Should look like. Yeah. I have a lot of work. Yeah, you need to I go need make to some terraces. Mm. And if you look at that diagram, mm -hmm. you can see this part person here. This mm. is farmer A, mm -hmm. your neighbor. Yes. And farmer B, that mm. is you. <laughs> These are two different farmers. Farmers. And two different styles. And two different styles. Yes. You find mm -hmm. this one mm -hmm. has made terraces. Yes. But this person here is if using contour. Is you using contour. Yes. Contour farming. Mm -hmm. And this one is using terrace. Mm. The terrace is that step-like feature. Mm. We continue. Mm -hmm. Another one. Mm -hmm. And you find it is even, it is scenic. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Despite it being a method of farming, mm. it makes your land become beautiful. Yes. And you find, if you look at it, mm. the person on this terrace is Ukukando. Mm. This part. Can you see my casa? Yes. What is this? What do you think this is? Looks like a cover crop. Mm -hmm. Looks like grass, maybe. Maybe grass. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
and this shiny part, maybe this is water. Mm -hmm. Maybe the person is planting rice. It's possible. Have it you ever seen like rice being planted? It's planted in very swampy places. Yeah. With lots and lots of water. You have uh, that method of irrigation, we call it flooding. Yes. You pour water, you mm. make a pool, mm. fill it with water, mm -hmm. then you go dipping your rice mm. in it. Okay. So I think the person is one that is going to plant rice. Mm -hmm. And you see, we know rice is planted on flat areas yes. because that's where you make the but this person has told us you can do it on slopey areas. On slopey areas as well. Making the terraces. Once mm -hmm. you make the terrace, you know, you can make it wide enough. Yes. You put your water. Yeah. And on the sides, mm -hmm. if you look at these sides, mm -hmm. these are cover crop. Yeah. The cover crop helps to hold the, the soil. soil. It's not a must you even use the, the grass. Mm. You can put stones. Yeah. Okay. You okay. can put the hardcore stones. Mm. You go fitting them in. Mm -hmm. You know, once you have put them there. Yeah. Can the soil move? No. No. It's mm. going to remain mm -hmm. fair. Mm. So that's another method as well. Yeah. Sweet, well, we're talking about the slopey areas. Mm. We have the terrace. Mm -hmm. On this side of the terrace, mm. this part here, mm -hmm. we have said you can plant cover, cover crops. crops. Cover crops. Mm. Or you can put stones. Mm -hmm. The stones are going to hold the... The soil. To hold the soil. Okay. We get it? Mm -hmm. So let me hope next time we go visit grandma, that's what is going to meet our eye. Yes. Please work I'll on I'll work it. very hard. Yes. Yes. And that goes to my learner as well. Mm -hmm. Wherever you come from, if the place is slanty, practice contour farming or... Terraces. Or terraces. Yes. And in your terrace, mm -hmm. do strip farming mm -hmm. or crop rotation. Crop rotation. Yes. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. now we come to our lesson where we mm -hmm. talk about the different types of soil erosion. erosion. Do you remember the, the types of soil erosion? Yeah, let me try. Mm -hmm. So we have sheet erosion. Sheet erosion. Real erosion. Real erosion. Uh, we have, oh boy, oh boy, gully erosion. Splash erosion. And splash erosion. Sheet erosion. Yes. Real erosion. Gully erosion. Yes. Splash, say it with me. Splash erosion. Sheet, sheet erosion. Sheet erosion. Real erosion, erosion and gully erosion. erosion. Good. If you look at the way they have followed each other, mm. it seems that's how they appear. Mm -hmm. But remember we said, when you talk about sheet erosion, it happens, but it is not visible. Mm. You, dear, you realize it later on. Later on, yeah. After it has already had its, uh, done its damage. Yeah. The, the exposure of those rocks the exposure of things buried mm -hmm. down there, the exposure of the roots. Yes. And even these crops being carried away, mm -hmm. the trees falling, the crops being weak mm -hmm. and falling off. Yeah. So when you talk about these types of soil erosion, mm -hmm. now I want us to prevent, to detect a soil, a type of soil erosion at a time okay. and get to know how do we prevent it. Okay. So we take the first one, okay. which is splash, Erosion. Okay. So the question is, how can we prevent or control the various types of soil erosion? erosion. Mm -hmm. We identify each mm -hmm. type of soil erosion mm -hmm. and how we can prevent it. Okay. Remember, they are different. Mm. Splash has its own factors, mm -hmm. its own characteristics, yes. its own causes. Yes. We go to the next one, sheet. sheet. It has its own mm. characteristics. Mm -hmm. It has its own mm -hmm. causes. Mm -hmm. we, the same case to real and mm -hmm. gully. So we're going to take each mm -hmm. and get to break down and get to see how do we prevent them. Mm -hmm. So we start with the first one, which is splash. splash erosion. We have that diagram there, yeah. which is going to guide us mm -hmm. and help us mm -hmm. to identify. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look at that ground, that's a certain football field I passed through. Yeah, it's very bare. Let me not call it a football field. <laughs> it's just Let's a field. Say. Let me call it a field mm -hmm. because this is not where we're supposed to be playing football no, or soccer. No, not at all. Yeah. Not at all. Because now imagine you fall off. What is going to happen? You're going to get really hurt. Yeah. Yeah. So to avoid all that, mm -hmm. now I want us to prevent that. Okay. What are we going to do to prevent those players mm -hmm. from getting injured? Okay. So I think uh, one, mm -hmm. plant a cover crop, which is grass. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we start with splash. Mm -hmm. And you have said the first thing we can plant, cover. Crops. Cover crops. Mm -hmm. Okay, so plant cover crops. Mm -hmm. And we said cover crops. What are cover crops? They are the crops that just grow on the ground, on the surface. Mm -hmm. Yes. So they grow on the ground. Mm. 
the ground surface. Mm -hmm. So we can say they grow horizontally. Yes. If they grow horizontally, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, what do we call those plants that grow horizontally? They just go. Um, they just go. I have forgotten. Remember, mm -hmm. we said we have plants that go up mm -hmm. holding on something. Yes. We call them climbing. Yes. What about these ones that go? They I don't want to say the word I want to say. They just creep. I want to say they creeping just plants. Creep. <laughs> creeping plants. Yeah, very good. <laughs> they are called creeping. Sounds so creepy. Creeping? Crops, and that's why I was doing that. Yeah, they're so creepy. They just yeah. creep around the ground. Yeah. Okay. You usually find there is a maize plant here. Yes. It is just creeping, creeping. around it. Quiet. Na yendi ju. Apo tuchini. Ina cheza tuchini. Ina cheza chini. All right, so we call those ones creeping, creeping crop crops. crops. Okay. So these ground cover mm -hmm. crops mm -hmm. are also known as creeping crops, crops. because they don't grow up. They yes. grow on the ground. Yes. So when you talk about these cover crops, mm. give me examples of these creeping crops. Mm. The ones that creep. I think we've said grass. Mm -hmm. see. Remember grass creeps. Yes, grass It creeps, creeps around the, the trees. Yes. You find the trees there, but grass is all over it. Yes. To For, an extent, yeah. if, the tree, if the tree moves... Though plants don't move. No, they don't move. They don't move. That's a characteristic, example, by the way, yes. okay. of plants. Plants don't move. move. Or you've ever met a plant on their way. Hmm, there is a rumor. But you are meeting uh, a, a banana plant. <laughs> Hi, banana. Have you ever done that? That will be the day I die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> plants don't move. They don't move. Animals move. move. Plants Animals don't. move. Yes. But plants don't move. Don't move. Yes. They make their own food. Mm hmm but for animals, animals, um, you know, sometimes I think animals are bad. I think it's both good and you bad. You are bad. I am bad. Mm. Because the plant makes its own food. And doesn't move. It doesn't move. Maybe it's just should, there. Maybe we should all be plants. Hurting no one. Yeah. But here I am. Moving I along. I go it. there to the plant which made its own food. And, and you I kill it and, and I eat its food. Imagine. Hey. Okay, let's not go there. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. Anyway, splash. Mm -hmm. So we have said it can be controlled by planting ground cover crops. crops. And these ground cover crops, mm -hmm. we have grass. grass. Mm -hmm. Another one, mm -hmm. we have the sweet, sweet potato, potato vines. vines. Mm -hmm. Sweet potato vines. Vines. Mm. So... We have a uh, diagram. Mm -hmm. We have the grass. Mm -hmm. That's outside my compound. Mm -hmm. I have such a lawn. Mm -hmm. So, in that area, can any erosion occur? No. If the water hits the ground, can, I, can it even expose the soil? No. Nope. Even the water is just going to flow yes. away, yes. leaving no channels. Yes. So, it's just going to flow away. Yes. Right? Yes. That is one type of cover crop which we call grass. grass. The next one, mm -hmm. we have the sweet potato vines. Have you yes. ever seen sweet potato vines? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And? Well, and what? They're beautiful. Hmm. They cover the ground. Okay. Yeah. You know, actually, what I was looking for? Yes. They are food. Oh, yes, they are food. Yeah. They're That's another potatoes. advantage. Yes. You usually find, yes, you are planting to prevent soil erosion. Yes. But on the, on the upside? There is food. There is food. Well. Unlike grass. Unlike grass. Yes. But it's food for the, maybe the goats. Even us, I love sweet potatoes. Yeah. Yeah, I love them. So you find, mm. you plant, yes, you are preventing mm -hmm. your soil erosion. Mm. But it is food. Yes. It is your food. You can cook the sweet potatoes for breakfast. Mm -hmm. And they're very healthy, by the way. Mm, can I actually even make mokimo with it. Oh. Mm. Okay. They're very tasty. Oh, I love to try that. Please do. Uh huh. So these sweet potato vines, mm -hmm. they spread, they mm -hmm. creep on the ground. And honestly, they do look beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. If you trim them well, nicely, you plant them well, mm. then you go harvest your sweet, sweet potatoes. potatoes, then you return to the one. vines again. Very good. No soil erosion, mm -hmm. and you have food on the table. Yes. So mm. those are examples of the cover crops. Okay. Find out more. Okay. At least four more. Okay. 
So at least you get up to number six. Okay. I'll find that. Fill the rest. I right, please do. And when you do, please put them on our social media platforms. We are on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube at EduTV Kenya. Go to the comment section and do this assignment. We can't wait to hear from you. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. We go to the next one. Okay. We have talked about splash erosion. Yes. We have the next one, which is sheet erosion. Sheet erosion. Mm. Sheet erosion mm -hmm. occurs on slopey land. Mm -hmm. So on these slopey lands, what can we do? Mm. What can we, can do? we do? So this sheet erosion, it can be controlled by mm -hmm. one, planting cover crops. Mm -hmm. And yeah. these cover crops, mm -hmm. you're planting them. Remember the ground is slanted. Yes. So on that slanted, mm. plant your grass. Mm. Despite it is flowing, mm -hmm. will the soil get carried away mm -hmm. when it rains? No. No. Mm -hmm. Because the plants are going to hold the roots, they're inside the soil, they're going to hold the, the soil. The, soil. Yeah. the trees as well. Mm -hmm. Trees, remember, their roots grow very deep. Yes. So it makes the soil Farm. Very firm and solid. It holds the soil okay. firmly. Okay. Practice contour farming. Yes. We have talked about contour farming. Mm -hmm. As well as terrace farming. farming. That is on okay. slopey land. land. Remember we said sheet erosion occurs mainly in? Slopey lands. Slopey lands. Yes. So practice contour farming. Mm -hmm. So we have said in sheet, uh, plant, cover, cover crops. crops. We also have, we have also said mm -hmm. trees. We have trees, and from there we can also say contour farming, contour farming, mm -hmm. and terrace, terrace farming. Okay. Good. Yes. Okay. Right. So we have that diagram. Mm. There is a slope. Mm -hmm. You can see the slope. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else can you see? Flowers. Flowers. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Flowers. Mm -hmm. So we can use flowers as cover crops. Yes. They are flowers that usually spread. Mm. And one, if you look at that, maybe that's outside the compound. Mm. There is a fence. You can see a, a fence there, mm. a wooden fence, mm. and the sloppy land. Mm. So it can be used, one, to prevent soil erosion, and two, beauty. Beauty. Because yeah. it's beautiful. It is. You can see some red flowers, mm. some. Lavender. Okay. Mm. You don't know lavender? It's the purple one. Oh, the purple one. Yes. Okay. We mm -hmm. learn something every day. Yeah, sure. Yes, we do. So what about the red ones? I don't know. That's rose flower. Could be bougainvillea. Like, For all um, we know. Let, let, me, let, me, <laughs> let me get that one. That's rose flower. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> but we have flowers. Yeah. <laughs> it's flowers. Yeah. They are planted on that slope. Okay. And they have covered the whole area. Mm. So is there any soil that is going to be carried no, away? No. No. All right. So even the flowers can also be used as mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. cover crops. Yes. Another one we have talked about trees. planting trees on the slopey land. Yes. You can see the slope. Mm -hmm. There is grass mm -hmm. and there are trees. trees. So the combination of those two, but it's very good. Mm. Plants and uh, that is trees and grass. Yes. It reduces the rate of erosion. Erosion. Grass covers the ground. Mm. When you talk about the trees, holds the soil together. Okay. Okay. We go to other methods mm. if you look at that slanted area it's next to a road you can mm. see there is a road here yeah and this is a slopey area mm. which was actually bare yes but if you look closely what has the person done are those tiles those are tires car tires yeah that's wonderful that's in innovative ways yeah. that's true there are so many ways you can be able to mm. prevent the soil erosion yes so this person has used tires. the tires mm. The old tires, instead of throwing them away, yeah. he has found use for them. Mm. And trust me, that place, it will stay like that for a very long time. True. And inside those tires, the person may even plant crops. Mm. They can have what we call innovative gardens. Yes. The tire, put soil, mm -hmm. plant your vegetables. Okay. Plant soil, plant your fruit trees. Mm. So, as well as preventing soil erosion, mm -hmm. you have food. True. You see? True. Very good. Real erosion and gully erosion. Mm -hmm. Real erosion and gully erosion. So the reason why we're putting this together is because real erosion leads to gully erosion. Yes. So if we prevent real erosion, then we don't have to deal with gully erosion. Right? When you talk about real erosion, mm. these are shallow channels. Yes, those are the shallow channels. Gully erosion? The deep channels. The deep. Yes. When you talk about 
channel and we have said they are channels, channels. yes mm. to prevent this mm -hmm. make sure you prevent this too okay to prevent this prevent this okay that is plant cover cover crops, crops plant trees mm -hmm. prevent cover the ground mm. the water will not flow yes but when you talk about gully mm. they are already deep, deep. okay so for your assignment mm -hmm. i'll give you first a hint mm -hmm. gully erosion is prevented by building what we call gabions oh, okay now for your assignment mm -hmm. find out what do we use to uh, to make the gabions mm -hmm. as well as what do we do after we have already built these gabions? Okay. What do we do? How do uh, what materials do we use to to create the gabions mm -hmm. or make the gabions? Mm -hmm. And two, what do we do after we have made the gabions? Okay. Because the soil is going to come mm. and get deposited there. Yes. What do we do with that soil? Mm -hmm. That's your assignment for today. Okay. Plus, mm -hmm. plant cover crops mm -hmm. and trees. Now, this one you're going to do physically. Mm. Plant a tree, mm -hmm. plant cover crops, mm -hmm. plant grass, plant sweet potatoes, mm. which happen also to be food. Good. Yes. I thank you so much. I hope you guys have learned a lot. I hope you've made your notes and you've taken very good, or you're trying to take, your, to take care of your land at home. Especially me and my grandmother. But yes. anyway, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you've had fun just like I have. This has been Agriculture for Grade 6. I have been your host, Wango Indirango. Our sign language interpreter was Velma Akini and our teacher was Mr. Kevin Muhia. We hope that you can talk to us on our social media platforms. That is Twitter, Facebook and YouTube at EduTV Kenya. Until next time, it's goodbye for now. <laughs>